expansion. But I want to bring it to uh, Margaritaville. I'm going to say uh, 2000, uh, New Year's Eve 2013-14. Yeah. Um, so I walked into the venue. Um, lockouts were coming. Uh, and uh, I saw the line um, drawn, drawn <laughs> across through, the water. Across the water. <laughs> I made some inquiries. People said, yep, PM1 is definitely not the CBD. It's not going to be affected. So that's, that's where my promoter nightclub events brain started thinking, okay, cool. Uh, we need to do something like this on this side. And at the same time, uh, you know, Darling Harbour being a destination um, as, as it still is for, for New Year's, it seemed to be a really good fit. After some convincing, um, the venue agreed to let me run the, the New Year's Eve event. I remember it was a carnival type uh, masquerade party thing with it Brazilian was. dancers and everything. Fantastic. It was a really good night. It was fun. It was successful. Brilliant. Everyone enjoyed it. So now the venue says to me, let's, let's keep going. Let's do something else. Um, and that begins um, our relationship. Um, I was the promoter at, at your, at your uh, venue in, uh, in uh, Darling Harbour, which of course was Jimmy Buffett's uh, Margaritaville, known to everyone as Margaritaville. And previously it was called Doc's Hotel and I think Edamoga right. Pub before that. Right. Um, and we had a really, really good, really successful run and we've got some great memories. And I think, Paulie, was that where you joined, uh, joined the company as well from memory? Yeah, it was Margaritaville, but when I used to walk past it, yep. I thought it was actually a buffet place. <laughs> Be because of Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Buffet. Yeah. Jimmy Buffet. Yeah. Yeah. True. That, that's. Hey. That, makes that's, sense. That, yeah. It makes sense. Uh, but I mean, um, uh, I mean, uh, me as a nightclub promoter, it's great memories. Uh, I remember closing sometimes six thirty, seven in the morning Absolutely. with the sun out. Um, and we're was, frantically clean on the sticky floors. Well, um, <clears throat> the place didn't look the best uh, at cool. those at those hours of the night. I must admit, after a long, long uh, after a long night of partying, um, I also remember doing World Cup Carnival there in two thousand and fourteen. Right. Remember um, all night? Yep, Brazilian World Cup, and we literally ran for. Not 30 days, because in the, in the FIFA World Cup, you do have, especially yep. in week three and four, you have those nights that are off. But I remember sleeping in my car in the car park. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, because we would have to get, go at it the next day or absolutely. because the cameras were coming in to film because we had uh, uh, Channel 10 and 7 and 9 doing crosses there because of, you know, we used to put the drummers on outside and everything. So great times, great memories. And I, um, I wish we still had it, Raph. I mean, I, yeah, I have to say that, definitely. you know, the relationship you and I built quickly after we took control of Margarita, yeah. I was extremely, and I still am to this day, yeah. sad that we lost what Indeed. we had. Indeed. And, and, and it was interesting that, and you know this, that within a very short period of time, with, yeah. with your input, and 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 uh, and your you know I'd almost call it intuition gut feel about yeah. what's required from a nightclub running operation which yeah, yeah. I'd only ever worked as a bouncer in nightclubs and and, and, uh -huh. and, and security and the old disco days but you you were much more up to it with the new stuff but we had become extremely well known as, as most definitely one of the best venues people were queuing up yes, outside most definitely but the the one thing that was important to me is that the local constabulary there and licensing and everyone used sure. to come up and say. You guys are running a tight ship. Yep. You know, mm. everything's run extremely professionally. Yeah. No hiccups, no problems. Yeah. You know, if mm. there is, you you handle it very quickly in yeah. house, put yeah. to bed, yeah. and and no instances compared yeah. to other venues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know, we 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 very quickly had a great reputation there. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. It was a, a very good run. Yeah, very good run. Uh, you know, it really was. And yeah. and uh, you know, I, I I remember we were we were. Yeah, you know, we were pushing through so many margaritas that um, you yeah, know yeah. your 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 team and my team with Jay and Chanel and the team back there and sure. Jay still works for me today, right? As my general oh, manager him, at Buddhist Paramount. Yeah, shout out to Jay, that man. little that, you know, yeah. my, my my British bulldog, pocket rocket. Yeah, and and and, and we developed a <laughs> yeah. system where we could use the small empty kegs and we could do we had margaritas on tap, mm. if you remember, right? So. So uh, oh, to, I definitely remember. To, I remember to get them out faster. I remember running out of vodka. And I remember, Paulie, was that you? Yeah, I had to go down to uh, Watershed to get uh, a couple of bottles of water. Yeah, so Watershed is a venue. Did we ever pay him back? <laughs> yeah, we did. I'm sure yeah, we did. We had to. <laughs> we did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we did. Now, nah, yeah, that, those were definitely great times. They were. So, yeah, unfortunately, there was some, um, let's call it in-house uh, fighting or misunderstandings, and then a decision was made, and the venue was pulled. 
We probably don't have to go the, too much into that. But the, there were circumstances well and truly yeah. outside our control. Out of our control. And that's, to, and that's yeah. purely, to be honest with you, uh, uh, purely uh, uh, put back onto the landlord. Yeah. I mean, really, it was, it was the landlords that, yeah. that, uh, that had an issue with Margaritaville. Well, you know, they didn't have an issue with Margaritaville. They didn't have no. an issue with you, Raph, yeah. your no, company, not, or, or myself no, as running the company. No. They were happy. They mm. knew that we were running it absolutely professionally yeah, and yeah. as even as a restaurant people sure. queuing up to come and taste our sure. our, our food yeah. um, what they had a problem with was mm. the original business partner uh -huh. that owner and sure. that was enough damage sure to see us you know yeah i remember the the